Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red. Now, today I wanted to finish off these quests and I've actually, I hope I've got everything prepared. So a quick look at the quests we have to make an assembly IO unit, an assembly platform, an assembly drill, an assembly laser and an assembly controller. So what we should do is I've got everything in here, prepared in here, so we should have enough of what we want. So I have to start with the basics. So I'm going to start with the basics, which I think are these items. And we'll take this as well, I think. Because the other thing I want to make is an assembly table and a laser. So this is what we'll need the obsidian and diamonds for. So let's start with this one. So we need an assembly I.O. unit. So if I look for um, pneumatic craft, we should see that the items we want. So I wanted an assembly. Those explosions from the creepers are very loud. It's this recipe. And for that, we need a pneumatic cylinder compressed iron ingots which we've got printed circuit boards which are fairly straightforward those are just um, well in our case we just dropped an unassembled PCB in a tier 2 altar which was made from an, an empty PCB which was made from a block of redstone so that's fairly straightforward and these items here we have to make from plastic which are rain plant seeds we just put those through the compressor and the cannon barrel and the cannon barrel is made from these items so let's do this first so we need a pneumatic gauge which i think i've already prepared so that was one compressed iron and four gold two levers and a pressure gauge so let's do that we've got those items already hopefully i managed to pick them all up which i did and that gives me the safety valve and then we need to go back to here let's go back this way i think probably the quickest way and then we need to do this item here so we should have everything we need for this okay and again for the last part of this it was that wasn't the bottom so we'll look at the recipe for this these were down the sides and Two ingots so that gives me 11 pneumatic cylinders so then the first one is this item so one hopper two compressed iron ingots one PCB and three of these okay so that's the first item next was an, an assembly platform and this one is actually slightly different from the others because it requires these orange items let's just go back plastic from propulsion plant seeds now the propulsion plant seeds are made from one seed and one piston let's go and do that because it's actually slightly interesting we've got a piston here and we should have a seed somewhere Probably around the back. We should have plenty of seeds in here at the moment. Ah, no, yes, 49 one seed. Now, if I put these two together, I don't think it matters which way around in this case. And then what I was trying to do is to plant these seeds. And you can't, as far as I can see, I put it here. If you look at it, it says dirt, grass, or farmland. Well, we're on grass at the moment. Just press. Q to plant the seed, okay. This is why I built these fences. If I do it, it flies away and doesn't plant. It'll stay there for uh, quite a long time. And I've tried all sorts of things. Let's just try it over here. And I could not get this thing to plant at all. And eventually I gave up. I just simply made the seeds like I've done now. In fact we'll put this one away. 
In case you didn't see that before, I built some more dark glass to see what, how many mobs were in that thing over there. And a lot. Oh, I haven't got enough space in there. Let's take something out. Ceratus quartz. And I got some Ceratus quartz too. But that was in a dispenser in the other witch's island. So I'm not sure what I can do with it because there's no chance of being able to put it in here and being able to do any applied energy sticks in this game because there's no way of getting the uh, um, the items which are required so we'll forget about that now yes that's right so what we then did is we put those seeds into oops, get the stuff out of the chest into the compressor and it made these plastic pink ones orange ones and that will make the assembly platform so that's the second item done third item is the assembly drill which is very similar to the other items we've got three one assembly and two compressed iron gives me this item move this apprentice blood orb out of the way then we need the assembly laser again a very straightforward one There. and then lastly we need a printed circuit board oh sorry an assembly controller so that's maybe I haven't oh that's what I needed it for so that's the piece of glass because I need this item to make the pressure tubes I'll go back over here so we need the pressure tubes and three uh, what about that time huh? Almost exactly right, just with three pressure tubes left over. So now let's go back to the quest book and see if that has completed these quests. Not quite. And bury me. And here we have to make eight advanced pressure tubes. Okay. That I will do next time because that requires all these all these items that have just been built put down here and I don't think I have enough space at the moment here to do that I'll have to build some more items I think some more piping anyway I don't know where I'm going to do it maybe at the back here somewhere thinking about it as I'm talking I've got plenty actually I could do that No, nope, we don't have any in there. We just got these three I made just now. And I suppose I could put those coming down here, but if I need to put a machine on the end of those. So we could go, I think that would be the first one, so we could put that down there and another one down here. And then we could put some machines that we've built. And these all will be run by... Oh, I've got another one here. Oh, yes, I'll do that as well. And we'll make some more of those. And then I'll just put these machines that I built down here somewhere, I th think. Yes. So this was the assembly IO unit. You see, I don't, they'll start to get in the way if I'm not careful. This will be the next one with the assembly platform. And assembly drill. Assembly laser. I don't know whether I'm doing this right. But I'm sure I can dig them up afterwards anyway. And the assembly controller. Stand by. So that will obviously need, everything will need power, I guess. And pressure. So I will get on and do finish that off and prepare that for next time. In the meantime, what I'd like to do is to also make something else. Let's take these items out of here. And I want to make an assembly table. And I'll show you why, because I want to do... It's actually all to do with the bees. This one. The assembly table from BC Silicon. So here I need a diamond gear. For a diamond gear, I, I need a gold gear, which I need an iron gear. Now that's... I've already made. So... Oh, look at that. It just happens to be the right one iron gear. So there we have a gold gear. And then we need four diamonds around this. And that'll make a diamond gear. So this is 
pretty expensive in terms of diamonds. And that's the rest of it's fairly straightforward. So we need one redstone, six of these, yet another diamond, and diamond gear. So we get the assembly table. And we also need to make a laser. Now these are all that, in fact, they're at BC Silicon, I think, is where they come from. So here's a laser. You can have multiple lasers, but for the time being, we'll just do. Actually, I was intending to do two lasers, wasn't I? Because otherwise the process is quite slow. And two diamonds. And we have two lasers. I think that's what my intention was. And we can put these down. So we just need some power, so we need to find a place where we can put these down. Which of course is also getting a little bit awkward. Yeah. In fact, it's not too bad. I think it's worse than it is. Let's just take away this tank, because I don't need that there. And we can put down the two lasers here. And they will connect to that, over that item there. So let's do that first. I think I just have to. Doesn't matter. I don't think the orientation matters very much. And then I can put the assembly table down here, and they should connect. Mhm. Mm but maybe it only does things when it's actually powered up, or maybe these have to be vertical. And we'll find out in a minute, anyway. So the first thing I want to do is in here I want to make some redstone wire and I think that's just some red yes that one so I select this and it needs power and it's not getting any so I th oh yes it is look so that's going to work on here convert this as it goes up into a redstone chipset and the idea is what I would like to do let's have a look at that redstone chipset again in fact I can go the long way around I can do uses this on here and go to soldering station and rich combiner there's lots of things you can do with redstone in this game here we go so we can make some redstone wire pipes that's basically to transmit redstone signals and you can have different colors let's go back I saw what I wanted six of these pages so with the redstone chipset this is the one we can do the usage of that we can make uh, an assembly crafting table which we'll do maybe and that's shape crafting this is the shapeless crafting and this is the assembly table we want to make a gate so if I just on the assembly table with 20,000 RF I think that is it'll make a gate and what we want to do with the gate basically what I want is a special type of gate and it is the atronic gate I think it's called let's see if we can find that quickly okay there's iron gates or gates gold ones and diamond ones and but basically those as they go up here we go Artronic gate this is the interesting one so we need a pulsating chipset a redstone chipset iron chipset so we need some okay let's get that that's why I had this in here so that should Oops, I've thrown out this. I forgot. Yes, it throws it out. If you're not standing there, so we've got. We need another one of those and an iron. So let's do. Let's put those two in there and one of those in there, and then we want this one. And so it's going to make the redstone chipset first, which we also need, I think, and an iron chipset. Let me just check that again. Oh, maybe we don't need the second line one. Let's just take that one off and then it'll make this one. And we can put this one in here and then we can make that. So then we have the gate. And then the other thing we need to make for this is the pulsating chipset. So that's the redstone and the ender pearl. That was what I wanted the ender pearl for. Good. So then we can do this as the third item. And that should be exactly right for the ingredients I've got. Oh, very good. Uh, 
Now, why do you want the ultronic? Well, that's working. Let's go and have a look. The idea is, I'll need to make a few of these. Oh, look, I was trying to make a, a rocky harbor, but that didn't work. No, it didn't. Let's just take that out and try it again. I have no idea whether this will actually work or not. But I thought that if I do this, let's try another scented hive in there. There is a chance I'll get a rocky bee, and they're very good bees for crossbreeding. And you'll see I've got another uh, beehive, a forest hive, and here. Now, automation of these is basically doing this apris pipe. And we'll come to that in a minute. But you've also got a redstone engine. So if you click this now, so look inside this. Can I do that? This Avery, I can. It's nearly finished, and I've got 19. So I've now got a pristine cultivated bee. So if I now cycle these through, turn this on, it'll pull these things through here automatically. And it'll drag them out, and it'll put the items at the top. If I look at this, so at the moment it's configured any bees go into the black channel, and this is actually white, strangely enough, and everything else goes into the white channel. So the white channel's at the top, so everything else is going in here, so we're getting honeycomb. And in here, the bees will come, so we can see from here can we see that properly it goes a bit fast when it hits so you can't really see it from the thing let's go go around the front yeah it's very difficult to see so how many have we got to get rid of just another couple and then it should start to take the bees and the bees should go down So it's very difficult to see that's going up nine and then it brings up the princess and then it starts the process again but unfortunately with redstone here redstone engines i would need to use a gate in here and that's what it's all about but the electronic gate is nicer because it basically saves this space you just put it on there and it's not much more expensive than a gate so that's why i'm doing that walk across the, the patch and this of course is for seeds you see this is actually full now for some reason i just walked into the wood. oops so let's have a look how's this later doing oh there we got the chip set here what's it doing now difficult to say actually one of these should be lit so Another problem, of course, is to capture these items. I suppose we could put a chest on top of it. Let's see if that works. Otherwise, I have to get to a more complicated thing of like using a, a vacuum. Um, woods over here. Something more complicated, like using a vacuum um, hopper or something like that. How oh, we got a chest already built? Let's try that one. I don't know whether it'll work or not, we'll soon find out. Maybe I have to uh, do something cleverer. Actually, let's see if it works. No, oh, let's just shift. Yes. I've no idea whether this will work. I've never tried this before. Let's have a look. Oh, something's gone. I should have a gate somewhere. Ah, oh, yes. It seems to have worked. Brilliant. That actually makes life a lot easier. So now we can take this gate out of here and the iron chipset. And this is going to take a while. This is actually reasonably slow. It doesn't matter that much. This, the bees' time is not, a, it's not something you ever worry about. It takes a long time for everything you do. And those seeds are really there to get lots more impregnated frames for the for the bees anyway. So I've got 64 and 3. In fact, I'll leave the 3 up there because they'll be used again. And we'll take these 64 and put those quickly into the squeezer. And that can squeeze some more to make some more sticks. 
we want basically another 10 sticks and that'll be the one they're quite expensive as well impregnated frames in terms of things we're doing this is going to take a while I could take the gate in fact it's probably a good idea to get some more redstone and let's just do that redstone should be in this no nope, that's the furnace that's the floor oh I haven't got any redstone with me so. but there's some in this chest over here I think 12 so we need two p per gate so we'll make about so I'll make a good eight I think So we can then put these into here and then click this as well and then that should start to make eight gates the redstone chip sets which we can then convert to gates but i'm going to wait patiently for these pulsating chip sets okay okay that seems to go take a while let's while we're waiting for that let's make some more compressed some piping for this thing so it basically is those and some glass and we should have glass in this chest so let's get on with this I think this will make eight which probably will be enough I'll keep that with me that's oh that doesn't look right at all does it Whoa, that's loud. Okay, maybe I have to put these things on top of that. Let's do that then. And now, what can I use to pick these up? I wonder if I can use the crescent hammer with a shift right click. Probably not. No. Let's just take. Uh, let's just take the pickaxe. Efficiency five. So, yeah, that works fine must want clicks so let's put these devices on top of here oh no space what's this one somebody I a unit and I really should do some research into this is that now going to work oh, it doesn't look like it's connecting I wonder how this works Maybe I just have to put them down. We maybe they just work together. Anyway, all right. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research and come back when I've done those. Oops. But for the time being, we'll just put them in this chest here. I think that's everything don't need we've got everything with front we're not quite the controllers there but I left it there okay right hopefully this pulsating chipset is now complete and that doesn't look like it was in I went very close at least it makes two which is also a bit of an advantage in fact then I think I think is it I'm not sure whether that's shape crafting. Let me just have a look. No, it's on the assembly table. So I basically do have to put these into here. And it doesn't come up yet until I get these completed. What's going on? Ah, right, here we go. So now I've got the building station and now I can make the electronic gate, which I want to do first actually so we can demonstrate how this works in fact there is one more thing I want to do I want to make another weapon so while that's messing around so to speak actually let's do it down here turn that one on and come over here and the weapon I want to make this time is a ranged weapon from blood magic and what we need is an apprentice blood orb, which I'll put on here if I can get it on. Missed again. 
maybe it's again easiest to go up on land on this thing and then place it with a queue make sure I've got my if I make sure just before I do this yes I've got a signal of my but it's turned off Yep, fell off I'll tell you what let's get that signal and I don't have to keep jumping down all the time turn it on turn it off and try again that was too short wasn't it let's get a bit higher there we go so now again it's the same thing as usual we right click this with the um, weak activation crystal and get out of the way and here we have one energy blaster I right click it to bind it to me and then I should be able to simply is it shift yes and then it fires off energy blasts now let's go and test this that's still working away but maybe this gate is finished yes it has we now have the electronic gate so I shall show you what that's for first and then we shall go and test the energy blaster so really I can is that off yes it is that's cold that's blue that's right so I've put this into here like this and then I right click it and I can say here that's blue engine engine blue well that's only because this engines here engine green which we're not interested in what we're interested in items in inventory and that basically means anything in here which there is and then when it's here then it gives you this redstone signal so what we then do is we can say pulse the energy and that's it and as we do that it's pushing all of these items back into here in fact now I can quite happily remove this I'll sort of just stand up and do it from here so it doesn't fly away and that will then automate this process so as you see now the bees are going around and the items that come out will be put up here and everything's hunky dory except for this the impregnated frames it's not going to work as you can't see this I'll put the turn that off with an O it says not daytime but normal normal everything else is good so what we can then of course do is sleep but before we do that let me check my chest here so I only have one more impregnated frame quickly we should now have enough impregnated wood at least I think it will have made eight we shall see carpenter oh it made 14 so one stack of seed oil made 14 impregnated sticks 14 impregnated sticks is actually not enough we need 16 and I haven't got any more in there I have only six and one piece of string will make another frame so they are quite expensive so let's go and get see so we've got some more um, seeds available I can take some out of there but they'll just delay the process so we've got 16 I ah, don't think that's really sufficient let's take yes, I agree. Yes, this one the green grove turn this one on I can right click a few of these as well get out of the way a bit like these LP but it makes the process go a huge amount faster but we need that anyway but just for the sake of it four well, I'll tell you what we'll do Come in here and take half a stack. That should be enough. And they will come back. There is there is something else we can do for that. I can actually do another ritual. And that's the ritual of the green grove, strangely enough. I'll put those 48 in there. And wait. Six, that will give me another th uh, three. That will actually be enough, but we only need two but what we do have is plenty of wood in here I think I 
and maybe it's time to do some more grinding but I'll do that for another time um, a carpenter was this one wasn't it ah we've got two more which is I think what we needed to complete this yes it's eight isn't it one string gives me the second impregnated frame what I can do is to, to replace those three even if they haven't broken because you can actually repair them just like you can do everything else to put them together okay let's come over here let's repair these three or leave them on basically like this but it's still night time so they're not being used anyway so I'll leave that going so this will only work when there's items in there it doesn't use any power it's really neat okay last thing it's done 31 minutes a couple of minutes and we shall have finished and let's go and test this energy blaster Up we go turn off my jetpack if I don't do that it'll get into a strange state here we go Actually, I haven't been here for a while. Look at that stuff there. So another weather cells and skull and lots of junk. I'll come and sort that out on the way back. Let's turn the jetpack back on again. Let's go and fly over here. Let's get my jet energy blaster into position. Let's have a look. This does about 12. There is another one of these as well called a bazooka. Oh, that was two hits on him. And it uses 200 LP a thing, this particular thing. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of you as well. Because I might have excited at this stage, I might have excited the zombie pigment, which I have done anyway. But no matter how much, kill them just as easily. This is very loud. Well, it is for me anyway. I want a gust. Actually, if I'm going to get a, get a gust around here, let's. Where's that gust? Missing it. Got him. Oh, there's a. There's our gas. Let's go down here and just pick up some of this stuff. I thought it was accurate enough. I thought it was good enough. That's two hits. And that kills the weather skeleton. But one thing I've not got from this mob pack yet is that's his skull. So let's go and just turn on. Oh, it's a bit of a full inventory, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yes, I better go and get rid of some of this inventory stuff because otherwise I can't pick up everything. Let's go and put this in the chest. They are funny, aren't they? Let's put the. Maybe I shall keep this with me just in case. Gold nuggets probably don't need. Seeds I don't need. Three of these I definitely don't need with me. That I don't need. I don't need a full tank of blood but that should be now enough there's no more space in here anyway let's have a look and I've got the soul of the blood lamp which of course makes little lights okay I can get rid of these 24 as well okay let's go back and do a few more oh, I only wanted the mag oh that's right let's put this I we'll need that. Where's my mag? Ah, here we go. It's number that one. Right, that's on. So there's no dropping on this either. So that's oh, let's see you dark. I'm getting rid of it. Anyway. It's a little bit slightly more interesting because he's got armor on. Oh, 
uh, somebody shooting me down there. Not for very long. Oops. Where did that gas go to? Well. Very loud and very fun. Oh, hello. So that's this weapon. I think that's probably enough of my demonstration for today. Somebody else was shooting at me. Over there. It's just the delay of the time is the biggest problem. Where's that one coming from? Oh, my health is all right. My jetpack's okay. Oh, that way. Quite a long range. Over there, huh? Oh, got it. Someone else. I'll shoot him over there because he jumps up and down. That's the biggest problem with him. It's not that very fast. At least, I don't think it is. It's quite effective though. It's really quite a reasonable area. Yes, another stick. I'll just flap a bit here. I think you can shoot when it's actually dropped something, so. Right, I'm going to call that a day, because <laughs> I've been withered. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I shall go home with my uh, accrued droppings. And I shall see you next time.